I'll call you back. I'm waiting for my interview to start. Yeah, I ate some of them. Sorry, I was just hungry and running late. What do you mean they were special occasion brownies? Those were pot brownies. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so how long do you think I have before I start feeling the... Oh my God. I can't feel my pain. Hey. <laughs> uh, good morning. Thanks for coming down. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, I see that uh, you just graduated. So tell me, how long have you been uh, interested in becoming a drug counselor? I've been interested in this field for a long time. Thank you for the opportunity to interview. I was a member of the senior class board and a member of the homecoming committee. I have $42,000 in student loan debt. Your face is melting. Excuse me? I'm sorry? Uh, you just said my face is melting. No! What I was saying was your space. It's very inviting. Did you decorate it yourself? I like that painting. That's television. Are you feeling all right? Your eyes look a little red. Allergies. I've got bad allergies. Cats! It's that time of season. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm a bit of a cat aficionado. I, I, I got a bit of a habit taking in shelter kitties and I'll typically bring them with me here to the office. We're, we're a cat friendly office here. Gosh, I feel horrible. But if you're allergic, this might not be a good fit for you. Actually, I'm not allergic. I'm gonna be honest with you. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was just so nervous, super duper nervous all day and night. Uh, that's why the old peepers look a bit rough. <laughs> I just felt so, you know, stupid admitting that I was so nervous. That was big of you to admit that. I'll tell you something. That's the kind of caliber person we want around here. So I'm so glad you told me that because I'm going to be honest with you too. I thought you might have been high at first. What? You thought that I was... No. Yep. Oh my God. Who would do that? I know. I was like, who would be stupid enough to come to a job interview for a drug counselor? Hi. <laughs> You'd have to be pretty dumb. An absolute moron. Yeah, definitely not somebody you want working here. I mean, <laughs> once in a while we have a counseling client that will come in all, oh, you know, and we had a client come in and just overdose right there on the floor, right there. And, and, and that's why I keep one of those emergency antidote pens here in my desk now. You just shove one of those things in your arm and bam, instantly reverses the effects of whatever drug they're on. Wow, instantly, huh? Yeah. Hey, listen. I know I might be the drug counselor cat guy, but I'm not as straight-laced as you probably think I am. Once in a while, not often. Mm -hmm. I like to have a little vino at work, so why don't I pour just a little, not a lot, just a little, to, you know, calm those nerves a bit. Our little secret, okay? <laughs> oh, look. Someone dropped off some chocolates. Oh, that was sure nice of them. <laughs> mm. Oh! Oh! <coughs> oh my god! I had a peanut in it! Who oh, allergic to peanuts? I'm gonna go into an anaphylactic shock in a minute! Quick! I need your help! Oh, should I call 911? No, 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 in my desk! I have one of those EpiPens. Oh. It's in the drawer. It looks just like an overdose antidote, but it's yellow instead of orange. Okay, uh, so you need the yellow one? Yeah, quickly. It's on my desk. Bring it over here. Uh, it's what? not here. What do you mean it's not there? Uh. <laughs> it has to be. I check every day to make sure, for Christ's sake. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> 